Do you ever think back about how you would do things different if you could do them over again? Five and a half years ago, I transitioned to a raw food diet. It went something like this. Why do you itch so much? Oh, I can't sleep. Looking back now, I would have done many things differently. So let's go over them. When I switched to my raw food diet, I looked like this. I had been somewhat of a junk food addict for a couple of years and I couldn't count the times I'd eaten fruit on one hand. I switched from a junk bodybuilding diet to vegetarian to vegan in eight months. By the time I made my raw transition, I basically ate the standard vegan cooked diet with junk. Jumping straight into fruits and vegetables was a recipe for disaster. And a disaster it was. So what I would do differently now is transition slower. I would have taken at least one month to slowly introduce more fruits and raw vegetables into my diet. At the same time, I would have slowly decreased the ratio of cooked foods in my diet and cut out vegan junk food at the same time. This would have allowed my body to gradually get used to the switch in diets. A good option would have been to transition to raw till 4 eventually, where you eat raw foods until 4 p.m. and at the end of the day you have a cooked meal or two. Here you can think of fruits for breakfast, a smoothie for lunch and then whatever vegan cooked meal you want at night. These slower approaches would have made my transition less aggressive and not overwhelm me and not result in cleansing reactions tormenting me for three weeks straight. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, or rather the one in my belly. I had major indigestion and constipation, which resulted in major bloating all the time. I could not eat salads. If I would touch just a bunch of lettuce, I would get bloated big time. I would literally wake up bloated. It was actually pretty comical, but also very painful and frustrating. So this meant I could only eat fruit, which made my cleansing reactions worse and also sort of made me bloated. Now you might say, why didn't you try smoothies? Well, I did. Bloated. It took me almost eight months before I could tolerate a simple salad without getting bloated and getting a stomach ache. I was able to manage a smoothie after about six and a half months without pain and bloating. It took ages. Why was this? Well, I was completely and utterly constipated and full of uneliminated waste matter. Basically, I was backed up big time and full of shit. So anything I put in was extremely slowed down by everything blocking my digestive tract or it would just simply get stuck. At the same time, I wasn't used to digesting any of these foods Neither was my gut flora, so this made it even worse. So instead of suffering and struggling for eight months, I would have simply done a juice fast and fixed this entire issue in three months time. I would have flushed out my entire digestive system and all the filth and blockages and reset my gut flora at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are in the daily documentation of some of my clients who are in my juice fasting program. They're addressing the problem at the core. They're flushing out everything that's basically preventing them from having good digestion. It's causing bloating, it's causing constipation, it's causing all kinds of issues. Here we have one of them. He's pooping about 10 times a day, solid chunks. All of it stank, day in, day out. The only thing he's drinking is juice. Five liters of fluids he's pumping in every day. Here he says, plus a lot of mucus coming out through throat and in stools. Here we have the daily documentation of another one of my clients. He's drinking seven liters a day, right? Seven liters of fluids. He's having sticky and solid stuff come out. It's so sticky, he has to flush the toilet a couple of times. Just imagine that sticking into your bowels. Here on day 21, right? Day 21 of not eating, drinking only juice. Hard, solid, mucus movement. He actually privately messaged me and told me like, what a relief to get this out. It's unbelievable this is coming out of me. Wow, so hard and dry. Now it's not only men having this, here's a woman. Day 12, a big day, two solids with liquids, five solids, still solid stuff coming out. And every day she's getting this yellow mucus out as well. On day 13, yellow mucus. Day 14, yellow mucus. Day 15, yellow mucus. Lots of solids and stuff. Now this is the reason why you're having indigestion. This is the reason why you're having bloating. This is why you're constipated. This is why you're having all these problems. Because this is what's inside of you. And all of them are eliminating it and getting to the root cause of the problem. And they're gonna fix it in three months instead of me suffering for eight or longer. For example, you for longer as well. This is the highway to cleaning out your bowels and getting rid of these problems. Now when you're interested in a juice fest, there's there's a link down below, my complete guide to juice fasting. It will tell you everything you need to know about a juice fast. And when you are interested in the program, there's a link down below as well for us to get in contact. By the time I did my long juice fast, after two and a half years of raw foods, my bloating issues had basically disappeared. In my months of struggling and suffering, I had removed loads of uneliminated waste matter from my digestive system, meaning things could finally sort of move through unhindered. But this took me close to a year to do. With the juice fast, it would have taken me three months and I would have removed all the filth that was still inside of me, even after those two and a half years of raw. Now, all I just said about juice fasting also plays a big role in getting skinny during your transition because of malabsorption. Now, at the end of my bodybuilding phase, I started to notice that I couldn't maintain my weight and strength anymore. I wasn't happy with this. So my remedy was to eat more and more, but this made it all worse. At the time, I didn't understand why, but now I do. After years and years of abusing my digestive system, my bowels were so constipated and backed up that the food I was putting inside of my body simply wasn't getting through. It couldn't be absorbed properly. I had created malabsorption. 
And by eating more and more, I added on top of this problem. Now afterwards, I switched to a vegetarian, then a cooked vegan diet, and eventually a raw food diet. But up until that point, nothing had really changed. I had still been adding to the problem. So when I switched to raw foods, I had limited to almost no absorption left. Now I made sure during my transition to eat 3000 calories of raw foods a day, but I was still losing weight rapidly, getting skinny whilst being bloated at the same time because I couldn't absorb anything. It didn't matter how much of the raw foods I was pumping in. It wasn't getting through as it should. This is the case for many of my clients and loads of people who reach out to me on a daily basis. Now on top of all of this, my body was also very toxic. You remember those three weeks of cleansing reaction hell? <laughs> I was so congested and filthy that my body basically broke down anything it couldn't save anymore and it would rebuild it later. This combined with malabsorption issues meant I was breaking down faster than I could assimilate or rebuild with food and digestion. In other words, there was no way to get around this in the current state that I was with eating. It took me many months of weight loss and frustration to finally see this turn around. If I had known this at the time, that I could have done a juice fast, flushed out my bowels and fixed this malabsorption problem in three months time, I would have done so straight away. And I would have personally started with the slow transition of a month, as explained earlier, and then moved into a juice fast. Okay, so those were the big things that I would have done differently. But what else would I have done? Well, I would have reached out to more people and gathered more information that way and learned from their experiences. Now, of course, there's many resources out there. For example, my juice fasting blueprint, my raw food blueprint, my complete guide to juice fasting and all my videos, they're down below in the links in the description. But there's many more people out there. Back in the day, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know much. I would have loved to have reached out to people and learned from their experiences. Ask them, what were your struggles? What mistakes did you make? How did you overcome these obstacles? How did you make sure you wouldn't make these mistakes again so that I could learn from it and not make mistakes myself and thus not be in cleanse reaction hell? This would have helped me so much and this will help you a lot too. So reach out to those people, ask them, get into contact, download the resources, watch their videos and learn. So there you have it. That's what I would do when I would transition to a raw food diet all over again, knowing what I know now five and a half years later. I would not bother with that long-term approach. I would not have three weeks of hell and then suffer for months and months with bloating, indigestion, all kinds of constipation, all kinds of symptoms, not being able to eat a salad or not being able to have a smoothie for months, getting skinny. No, no, no. I would do a juice fast and in three months I would flush it all out, fix the problem and then be happy and merry on my way. This is the same thing that my clients are doing. They have been transitioning sometimes for a year and still having problems. And then they lower long juice fast and they flush it out. Now you might be like, yeah, but Nathan, you know, maybe it's not inside of me. Maybe this is not causing the problems. Look, man, I was raw vegan for two and a half years. Then I did my long juice fast. I still had all this stuff come out of me, out of pockets and holes. It's there. It's causing all these problems. It's crazy. I would highly advise you to just jump on a juice fast, man. Get it fixed. Now, whatever route you choose, whether you choose the slow approach and then a juice fest, or you're just going to go through the entire raw food transition, or you can just jump straight into a juice fest, research it properly, get all the resources you can. There's a raw food blueprint down below, a juice fasting blueprint, my complete guide to juice fasting. And when you're interested in the program, there's a link for you down below as well to get into contact with me. And we can have a chat about that. Whatever you do, and do it for the best reasons, <laughs> do it in such a way that you don't have to suffer or whatever, and that you don't have to go through a long-term process of basically having to struggle. Get the quickest route, just do a juice fest. All right, that's it. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Have fun with this, see the fun in it. Maybe if you're struggling, it might not be so much fun. And remember, you don't have to be bloated or in pain, you can just take it away. It's been six months, maybe it's time now. Ah! Not again! There has to be a way! Oh, look at that. There is a way.